One of these cows is lame, and it's this one here. You're watching The Hoof GP. Before we can trim her, we need to get her to the crush. Try to separate them. There's a bit of a skill that you learn over years and years. That's a girl. On you go. On you go. On you go. Go. Because cows are herding animals, their instinct is to stay with their friends. A skill Kevin has obviously mastered. Hey, Kev boy. Getting there. She's getting there. Come on, Go on. As a hoof trimmer, it's obvious to us which hoof she's sore on. Can you tell which one it is? This cow was on the straw bedded pen we got her from because she is heavily pregnant. She's due to give birth to her calf within the next month or so, so we need to be careful when we handle her. Just to show you guys, by the way, some people don't understand how much manure cows can produce. So we've trimmed about 40 cows today and they've not been standing here very long. Most of the slurry and manure has been cleaned up and Kevin's clearing the rest up right now. And as you can see, if you're not from a farming background, they produce a lot. Almost as much as Craig does in a day. Almost. Unless he keeps his mouth shut, obviously. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. So I asked you earlier on if you could tell which hoof this cow was feeling pain on. This is her back left foot and we are trimming it first. Is this where the problem is? Does she have a problem under that muck on the inner claw? Yes or no? We start by doing a routine trim. We're making sure that the balance between the two claws is perfectly level so that she can be as comfortable as possible. Then we move on to modelling out the typical sole ulcer site. That means creating these concave areas toward the inner portion of her feet. By doing this, we alleviate the pressure from the pedal bone, which sits right above this area and often causes bruising, which ultimately leads to blisters and ulceration. Once that's done, we go on the hunt for any detached or loose hoof horn before finally dealing with the problems. But this foot has none, so it's straight on to her back right foot, which, as you probably guessed, was her sore or lame hoof. So if you got it right in the comments, well done. Try to remember the steps from the first hoof and see how we replicate them on this one. The story is always the same with every cow's hoof. There are five individual steps which we follow on every single hoof. As I trim this hoof, try to envisage what the problem is. Try to imagine where the source of her pain is coming from and try to imagine what this hoof is going to look like by the time we've finished. Ask yourself questions during this video. Why am I trimming that inner claw when the outer one needs the weight off it? Surely I'm only making it lower, therefore making the outer claw, which has the problem, carry even more weight. Why would I do that? That's right, I was trimming it so that I can apply a block. This bovi bond is fantastic glue, but in order for it to have the best chance of success, it needs a flat and level hoof to adhere to. Up until now, you probably weren't completely certain where the problem was, but we can all now see that cavity beginning to open up on this cow's hoof. I don't know what's going to be beneath, but one thing is for sure, we're all just about to find out. Ooh. 
This is a white line lesion. It's on the axial wall of the lateral claw. That means the inner wall of the outside claw in layman's terms. We need to be especially careful because any problem on that axial wall is a major one. I've said it before and I'll definitely say it again. I absolutely hate these problems. They're notoriously difficult to heal and even when every condition is perfect, they take an awful long time to completely heal. Right now though, the job in hand is to remove all of that loose, detached and raggedy hoof horn from up in between these claws. And it's something I will endeavour to do. As you can no doubt hear, the weather here in southwest Scotland has taken a turn for the worst. It's cold and it's windy right now. We thought spring was on its way, but boy were we wrong. This trim is starting to head in the right direction. It really does travel high up that axial wall and I need to clean it out to make sure I can get every last piece of detached hoof horn. Otherwise, there's no real point in even trimming it at all. All we would be doing would be making her a little more comfortable for a short period of time. Our aim here is to completely heal this cow and make her forget this problem was ever a problem. But that, my friends, is going to take a lot more than just this one initial trim. The hoof horn up here is extremely hard and I need to use two hands to pull my knife through it. We're getting there and this cow is being extremely patient with us. Which is good because all we're doing is trying to help her. The wall horn in this area of the axial wall is extremely thin, so despite having to put a huge amount of force through it to cut it, we still need to be incredibly careful. I'm afraid to say that this problem is much more serious than it first looked. I don't want that outer claw to touch the ground at all, so we're applying another block to the top of this orange TP one. That should give this cow the ultimate in pain relief. It should lift this lateral claw high up off the ground and allow it to heal. When we finally get a clearer view of this, you can see how terrible it looks. This is not a pretty hoof. But the difference in height between these two blocks and this outside claw should give her a huge amount of pain relief as well as promoting the healing process by preventing that hoof from coming in contact with the ground. Something which is sometimes hard to watch is the fact that she's actually walking slightly worse now than she was when she came into the crush. Unfortunately though, just with the inflammation inside that hoof capsule, us merely touching it, never mind cutting any hoof horn away from it, will have aggravated it for the time being. Having said that though, she is now well on the way to recovery. <laughs> 